Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. I'm currently reading The Thursday Club Murders by Richard Osman. I'm about a fifth of the way in, quarter of the way in maybe. It's okay so far. Um, it has taken me a little while to get on board with the writing style, but I think I'm now finally absorbed enough that I'm going to be able to enjoy it. Um, I am going to read State of Fear by Michael Crichton next, I think. Um, I'm about to start listening to my audiobook of Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. And my bedtime book, I'm currently reading um, Lynn Truss. And the book is called A Shot in the Dark. And it's a crime novel set in Brighton. And is very kind of influenced by Brighton Rock by Graham Greene, which is one of my favourite authors. Not necessarily my favourite book by him, but still. And yeah, I'm just cracking on. I'm very tired, so I might go to bed soon. We'll see. Dane reads... Greetings, hello, it is me. I don't have a huge amount to update you on. Um, I don't know, did I uh, did I film yesterday? I think I did film yesterday evening, so I really don't have much to update you on. I've just put some cornbread and jalapeno things in the oven. Here you go, I'll show you the box. My mum got them for me. Vegan cornbread, pumpkin seed and jalapeno breakfast muffins. So they're in the oven. I'm gonna see how they go. Um, yeah. So that's interesting, gonna, as I say, see how that goes, give those a try. I got stuff to make another curry, because I made a curry the other day, and I was gonna make onion salad to go with it, because I fucking love onion salad. Bit of poppadom, bit of onion salad, bit of mango chutney. But, um, yeah, I used the onion that I bought <laughs> in the curry. So I bought stuff to make another curry, and to successfully do the onion salad today. Although I might do that tomorrow, because I've also got stuff for a stir fry. So I've got one or the other, and I haven't decided yet what I'm going to have for dinner. Hence me making these muffins, because I can just eat some of those instead. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some filming, some editing this evening. I had a Q&A earlier that seemed to go okay. Although, because the clocks have changed in the USA, but not in the UK, there was a lot of confusion about the right time, so a lot of people missed out. Um, I have a team meeting with the same client tomorrow, so that's every two weeks we have our team meetings. What else is new? That's about it. I'm still reading uh, The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. I'm enjoying it now. I wasn't to begin with. It took about 50 pages or so for me to get into it and to start enjoying it, but I am now enjoying it. So I'm going to go off now and film my little bits of reviews for that, and then do some editing and do some more work. Mm. Hello, it is quarter past ten on Tuesday the 15th of March. Got my radio show out, so that's all good. I had a client call earlier for 90 minutes. I slept in late, so I didn't get up. It's about 3pm, 1500, that's why I'm getting confused. And I'm still kind of tired as well, um, but we'll see. I don't think I have any calls tomorrow, so I might stay up all night and then sleep as soon as the sun sets or something, we'll see. It's also quite cold in here. Um, so I need to go downstairs and turn my heating on in a, in a minute, but I'm um, just catching up with a bit of filming um, I've been watching Gab Smolders play Elden Ring on YouTube, so that's been nice um, I have a few filmy bits to do, but not a huge amount. I probably have more like video to do bits than filming bits So that makes a nice little change. I finished reading the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman That was a four out of five did enjoy it in the end it took me a while to get into the writing style But once I did I enjoyed it and it's a good little murder mystery Although I will say it's overhyped considering it's like one of the best-selling books of I think last year um, It's just competently done, you know, there are a lot of other similar books out there on the market um, So I don't know why it's got that much acclaim and whatnot. I'm now reading State of Prey by Michael Crichton Which as you can see is a chunker. It's like what 780 pages. I think 720 so I was, I was off a bit um, I got a book in the post today, but basically I ordered the next Wizard of Oz book and I accidentally just ordered a copy of the original Wizard of Oz because reasons eBay was being weird so I've reordered the one that I actually need, um, and I need to order another book in a bit, so I'm probably going to order the next June book. After this, I have two Bill Bryson books to read, and that's kind of it. I'm, I'm down to 11 on my currently reading now. I've got my bedtime book, which I'm two-thirds of the way through. I've also been reading Asterix as a bedtime book, which I only have like 30 pages left, but it's in French, so don't know how long that'll take me. I could finish it tonight. It could take me the rest of the week who knows and I've started listening to the audio of Catch-22 as well I think this one's about 16 hours and I'm about an hour in so I'm already making like better progress than I did with East of Eden which I finished reading by the way 
and that's all I've got for you really. I'm going to Tamworth this weekend to stay at my mum's house and then we've got a family gathering on the Saturday for my grandma's uh, 90th birthday. So that's going to be happening and that's all I've got for you. Greetings, hello it is me, it is 25 to 11 on Wednesday the 16th of March. My sleep is so messed up man, I went to bed at about, I think I fell asleep about 8, 9 a.m. Um, I woke up a, a couple of times because I had a phone call and there was someone at the door. Uh, my neighbour came round to bring me some food but it wasn't vegan, it wasn't even vegetarian so I don't know what to do with it. Um, but I didn't want to be like, no nah, you're alright mate, you know. So, um, I don't know, we'll see. I'll see if I can slip that into conversation at some point in case he does it again. Uh, I think I'll probably lie and say I gave this one to my friend even though I'll probably see if the cat wants it to be honest. So yeah, I woke up about 7, 8 p.m. and I've just been being productive ever since. I need to try and sleep tonight because I have a call at 1.30, then a call at 6, then a call at 7.30 tomorrow, so it's a busy day of calls. Uh, and then on Friday I have s uh, someone coming around to look at the windows because I'm getting new windows done. Um, and then I've got to travel to Tamworth to stay at my mum's for the weekend. Uh, and then on Saturday we've got a family gathering for my grandma's 90th, so that would be nice. I've read some more of State of Fear, I'm about halfway through now, it's alright still. And I read last night, I finished reading in bed, Asterix et le Chaudron by Argosini et Aderzo. Uh, it's a bon dessiné, which is a graphic novel slash comic in French. It's part of the Asterix series. I want to say number 11. Um, I'm getting through these, you know. I think the next one, Asterix going to Spain. So that would be interesting because I don't speak any Spanish. So I'll be re reading French and then possibly little bits of Spanish in it as well. I don't know. We'll see. Um... But yeah, the fact that was a probably a strong 3.5 out of 5. I did enjoy it. Um, my comprehension was pretty high as well, so that's good. Um, and that now means I'm now on 10 owned but unread books. And I'm halfway through State of Fear. I'm about just over two hours into Catch-22, the audio book of that. And then for my bedtime book, I've got Lynn Truss, A Shot in the Dark. And I have 80 pages left of that, but it's pretty small print, so... I might actually even sub it out as my main book after I finish State of Fear, just to get it finished. Uh, and then I think next up I'm going to read A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson as my next main book. Because I only have two Bill Bryson books left on my main book pile, and that's the thinnest, and it's still 580 pages. And then for my next bedtime book, I think I've either got Paperweight by Stephen Fry, which I think is a collection of essays. Or I have... Um, it's a Richard Dawkins book and I can't remember which one it is. So I'm probably going to read the Dawkins because it's shorter and because I read Fry recently as well. I mean, if I get really interested in it, then I might switch it out as my main book as well. We'll see. But yeah, so that means, I mean, yeah, I've got four main books lined up. But one of them is a June book, which I need to read more of the series to get to it. I have three audio books and then three bedtime books. And that's all I've got. I do have the next Oz book winging its way towards me and the next June book as well. So really I want to get down to eight currently reading which I can do if I finish this Crichton and a shot in the dark and then when Oz and the next June book both arrive I'm still only on ten. So that's probably my goal at the moment. We will we'll see. Um, yeah, I mean I'm, I'm thinking it's unlikely they're both going to arrive before I head to Tamworth as well So ideally I'll be nearly the end of, of this Bill Bryson book because I kind of want to be below 10 So I would like it so that when I have books on order even when they arrive It's not going to put me any higher than 9 um, And as I say at the moment I'm on 10, but if they both arrive it puts me on to 12 So I need to read three more books, but I'm doing pretty well because there was a time when I had like 150 books on my TBR So so there is that so I think that's where I'm at. I don't think I've got anything else for you. I just had some more of my curry. I've got some stuff to make curry verse, which is like curry sausage uh, with fries, which I'll do that at some point. We'll see. Might do it tomorrow. Um, yeah, and I'm going to do some writing and some more tidying and stuff. Hello. It is 21.55 on Thursday the 17th of March. I've had four calls today, but I managed to make them all, so that was good. I also painted the fence out in the front car park. Um, which just leaves the fence in the back to paint now, which I'll do because I'm going to Tamworth to see my parents this weekend So I'll do it when I get back um, So on Saturday, it's my grandma's 90th birthday shenanigans. So that should be interesting. We'll go along to that 
gonna take my laptop, do a little bit of work with me. I've got some new cameras set up to keep an eye on Biggie, Biggie while I'm away as well. And my friend Dave's coming to check in on him, so it should be all right. Uh, I'm still reading State of Fear by Michael Crichton. I'm about 120 odd pages from the end now, so not far to go. Uh, probably won't quite finish it this evening, but I'll probably finish it before I leave tomorrow. So then I'm going to finish off reading A Shot in the Dark by Lynn Truss, which will put me on eight currently reading. And then I'll start on A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. Um, I'm also on part three of my audiobook of um, Catch-22 by Joseph Heller, and I'm enjoying that at the moment as well. We've got Lieutenant Schweisskopf in it at the moment, which is Lieutenant Shithead. And yeah, that's all i got for you. Oh, I made really delicious... Um, fucking currywurst which is like a german dish it's sausage curry sauce and chips uh vegan obviously but yeah made that earlier made my own sausages made my own sauce that was good uh, and now i'm basically just doing a few last bits of filming before i leave and also um trying to tidy the house a bit i guess you know so off to go and do some more of that and do a bit of editing as well while i'm at it Hello people of the internet. Oh, my camera's now saying low battery. Luckily I had another one with me. It is Sunday the um, 20th of March. It's about 25 to 9. Uh, as you can see from the surroundings, I'm at my mum's house in Tamworth. So I uh, spent a few days away. I'm trying to think when I last updated you. I uh, I'm back. Um, I didn't get a chance on Friday, I don't think, because of reasons I'll get into in a minute. Um, but that means I just want to quickly remember to, to note that I finished reading my bedtime book, which was, goodness me, what was it? It was Lynn Truss, A Shot in the Dark, um, which was okay. I thought I had about 40 pages left, but it was one of those where the last, you know, tiny bit of the book or whatever is actually an excerpt of the next novel. So I didn't read that because I probably will just read that at some point anyway, even though I didn't much like it. I gave it like a low 2.5 out of 5, I guess. Um, so I was just reading it to finish it off. So now I'm reading as my bedtime book, Paperweight by Stephen Fry. I also finished reading um, Michael Crichton's State of Fear. Um, that's probably a three out of five. Um, my reason being is some of the characters' viewpoints in it and then Crichton's own writing at the end. He basically thinks that global warming is, is a, a hoax to keep us all in a state of fear. Um, and he has like scientific papers he cites, but it's the same old thing. It's like you can cite scientific papers to prove both sides of an argument, you know, so um, And also it's one of those things where it's like do you really want to take the chance even if you th think like he's like the science Like his characters argue both ways and it's like if you say that like maybe just Assume the worst case and then, and then you know like uh, and he was saying he's like he's not anti-pollution He just doesn't think global warming is a problem and it's like well He's dead so you know it wasn't a problem for him But it will be a problem for me and people who come after me, you know So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, uh, the actual storyline was okay It's just the science in it. I'm not 100% convinced by I'm at a very unflattering angle if you can see look at this. Why am I sitting like this? <laughs> I don't know. I just am. So yeah. Um, I've been anyway. So yeah, that brings me on to my current read. I'm currently reading Bill Bryson. Where is he gone? I did bring him up. I put him down somewhere. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Here he is. I am reading. Oh my hair. I am reading a short history of nearly everything by Bill Bryson. It's basically uh, a science book. It covers everything from the Big Bang through to atoms through to you know, viruses, um, yeah, a bit of everything. I'm currently reading about Darwin. So, for example, I didn't know that Darwin's granddad was Josiah Wedgwood. Um, and also I learned, I've learned so much stuff from this. I learned that, um, yeah, w w let me think. Yeah, so Darwin sent an ARC copy, basically, of one of his books to, what was it called? The Quarterly Review, I think it was called. And the editor liked it, but he was like, oh, no, mate, it's... It's too specific. People aren't going to like this. And then the quote was, you should write about pigeons because everybody likes pigeons. So fortunately he didn't. Uh, Isaac Newton, he had a, a, a bodkin, which is like a little needle, and he jabbed it into his eye to see what happened. Uh, he didn't go blind. There's other people. There was one guy who was testing um, the likely impact of meteor strikes by throwing marbles at bowls of oatmeal. Um, one guy almost blinded himself by 
basically exploding some gunpowder while trying to observe it from as close as possible. Basically we've learned that scientists are all nuts and they don't agree on a lot of things as well. But actually it's a really interesting book. I'll probably give this one a 4 out of 5. I mean, you can see here it looks like I've got a lot to, to go but actually... Where is where's the end? Here we go. All of that, that's all notes and references and sources. So I actually have about 100 pages to go. Um, I'm gonna have a bath in a little bit because my mum's house has a bath and I always read in the bath. Um, I probably won't quite finish this before I leave tomorrow but I'll definitely um, finish it before I get home. Which means then I can start reading At Home by Bill Bryson on the, on the journey. Um, and those are pretty much the only unread books that I have left to go. I did now, I now have the next Oz book, which I think, I think I'm due to start reading on Monday. So I can pick that up and there's probably the next June book as well. Will probably have arrived by the time I get home and then I'll order myself a new book. But still that leaves, I mean after this with me I have one other book and then I have one known book at home, one book arriving and then those are all of my TBR basically. So um, I mean I'm down to nine books on it, obviously I've got some bedtime books and stuff. Um, but yeah I want to try and keep it under ten anyway. So yeah we'll see how that goes. News wise I've been doing a lot of work for myself over the weekend trying to like revitalize my marketing and to do a better job of selling my books and things like that so I've done a lot of work on my website. I've merged 11 different email addresses all into one email address now so you can email me on them all still it just all goes into the one inbox. Um, and then I've merged websites as well so my dane-writes.com which used to be my freelance website that now just directs you to a freelance page on danecobain.com and also my book blog socialbookshelves.com and I formed this, in, I launched it in uh, April 2013, so nine years um, but I have shut it down um, and basically all of the reviews are still there, they're just on danecobain.com forward slash reviews um, and they all redirect as well so if anybody visits the old links they'll go to danecobain.com and basically it just makes me a better able to market my books to people through my book reviews um, and it just makes it all consistent brings everything under the one brand I still have the Facebook and Twitter pages for that but I've uh, rebranded them as Dane Cobain Reads actually one thing I need to remember I don't have a pen oh I do have a pen what am I going to write this on? I don't have any paper that's the next problem right on my hand uh, so I need to I'm going to change YouTube to Dane Cobain reads. Oh, fucking hell. I've got a pen that doesn't work. Maybe it's because I'm upside down. God. Oh, how am I gonna should I just write it in the book? I can't write it in the book. That's that's not on. Right, I've got my little sticky tabs. So I'm gonna write it on a sticky tab. Bear with me, I'm just fucking fiddling. It doesn't help the position I'm at. Oh lord, right. Right, change YouTube name. And there was another thing I wanted to do. There's another thing I wanted to do that I've already forgotten what it was, so I'll do that later, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's been taking up a lot of time. I've added, uh, there's now a, a pop up. Let's change. Change the pop-up time to 10 seconds. So after people have been on the website for 10 seconds, it'll ask if they want to join my mailing list. Um, I've been experimenting with other things. I've got a virtual assistant now called Augie, who is in the Philippines. Shout out to Augie. Um, who I've also put in touch with uh, JV Hilliard, one of my other clients. Um, so she's going to be doing some blogger outreach on both of our behalfs and doing some other bits for me as well. Um, I've signed up to a it's like a newsletter swap website so authors can basically promote each other's books on their newsletters so I'm going to try that out. Launching some Facebook ads, um, I'm mostly promoting Meet at the moment. Um, and actually if you want to do a review of that let me know. I have review copies to send out both physical and electronic so just reach out to me and let me know. Uh, I've submitted it to Bloggers Required which is like a bloggers database as well. What else have I done? I've done some other things. I think those are the main ones. I'm sure there was something else I did. Anyway, so yeah, just been kind of busy doing all of that stuff while you know while I'm away. Um, 
and rewriting a load of sections for the website and just make, making it nice basically i'm getting it to the point at which i can just kind of leave it again and just get back to doing other stuff so unfortunately i was planning on doing some writing while i was away and it looks like that is not going to happen uh, i should tell you what i got up to so mon uh, friday morning i was woken up early afternoon by a man who came around to look at my windows because i'm getting some new windows so we had a look at those measured those so i should be getting an updated quote about those soon um, then I just packed up, did my last bits of tidying and, and headed home. Got to my mum's early evening, just sort of chilled. Saturday it was, uh, we had a family gathering, so there were loads of us. I think there were, I think, oh I can't be bothered to think, there was about 14, maybe 16 of us. Uh, my grandma and granddad, so my granddad's 91 now and he has dementia, he's not doing particularly well, bless him. Um, but he seemed to have a nice time, he had two loads of cake and he ate all of his food and he had a beer. Um, so that was good. My grandma had a lovely time as well, so she's 90, that was kind of what the gathering was for. Uh, we found out that my grandparents have known each other for 75 years as well, so that's a long old time. And I saw, yeah, all of my dad's brothers, he has three brothers, and then like all of their kids and partners and all of that stuff. God, like, um, I saw my cousin Jake, who I haven't seen 15 years, he's like 28 now, he's a hipster with a, uh, uh, what do you call it, like a... I'm not a mohawk, the other thing, a mullet. <laughs> um, and then two of my other cousins, who are both at uni now, and I don't know if, I, I must have met them at some point, but I don't remember them. Maybe because they would have been kids last time, and I don't remember kids. But um, yeah, they're both at uni now. Um, one of them was a bit of a rocker, the other one's kind of normal. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was good. Did that, had some food. I had a, a, a bean curry with some chips. Then came home, chilled. Uh, today we went to. Uh, oh, I can show you. I'll show you what we got. I went. To, we went to uh, the B and M, which is like a big bargainy place. So I got all this for the garden, which I can't take home. My mum's going to come and visit me soon. But I got all these plant pots, uh, and also this uh, scarecrow. So I got all those. Uh, and then tomorrow, I think me, my mum, my uncle Carl, and my granddad on my mum's side are all going for lunch. Um, and then I'll head back after that. I actually have a call at 4 p.m. with one of the clients, the one I do a weekly Q&A with, and I probably won't get back till half four, quarter to five, uh, but somebody else has said they're gonna be able to take it for me, and so I'll just dial in towards the end when I get a chance, just to sort of show me face. Um, and that's the plan, yeah. Once I get back, I'll be pretty much back to it. I'm gonna start painting the fences. We still haven't had them repaired, so we need to get that done soon as well. Oh, and my band's got a gig next weekend, so I'm going to play at that. And I think that brings us all up to date. So, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.